Hey guys, um, I hope you're having a blasting new year. Uh, this video is just about PHP option 3, sports injuries. Now, I know this video actually doesn't apply to most of my subscribers, but it's just for myself to revise, and if anyone does have a relationship with this, uh, this particular topic, if they're doing it at school, well, then hopefully it helps you. Okay, so in sports injuries, we're actually in, inside the entire sports injuries are I've just, uh, I've had a little bit of an overview and I've figured out that all it is is about figuring out what types of injuries are present, how we can treat these injuries, and specific people which have certain conditions and how we can treat those certain conditions or look out for them. That's, that's pretty much the entire sports injuries option. That's all it's about. So, I'll quickly go into it. This is the first part of the syllabus where we learn about direct and indirect injuries, soft and hard tissue injuries, and overuse injuries. Okay, so direct. Let, the first thing we'll actually do is we'll just define these. So, first thing is we're going to define and describe these key terms. Okay, so let's do this. All right. Now, first off, what's a soft tissue injury? Well, if you think about it, just from the name you can actually already figure it out. So a soft tissue injury, it, as it implies, soft. So it, it's uh, an injury uh, sustained to any part of the body such as skin, ligaments, muscles or tendons excluding the bones and teeth now that is a bare minimum uh, definition of a soft tissue injury so a soft tissue injury is just an injury sustained to any part of the body such as the skin ligaments muscles or tendons excluding the bones and teeth now an example of this would be you know just a, a bruise on your hand or like a little cut in your arm something like that that's that's pretty much all you need to really know now what's a heart tissue injury Okay, so hard tissue injury and soft tissue injuries. Now, as I said, the name actually just gives it away so easily. Hard tissue. So hard tissue, and over here it says excluding the bones and teeth. So obviously a hard tissue injury is any injury sustained to the bones or the teeth. It's as simple as that. That's all you need to know. So, this is we've already covered these two things here soft and hard tissue injuries. We've already covered it, and we can just move on to the next part, which is direct and indirect injuries. So, um, okay, let's go. Okay, so now for direct and indirect injuries, it's it's pretty similar, it's easy to tell from the title itself. So, I'm just going to quickly talk about it. So, we've got direct injuries. and we've got indirect injuries. And I'll just go straight line here. And something like that. Okay, no worries. Now let's do this. Okay, so direct injuries. Direct direct injuries are caused by an external force. So first first thing we can write is external force. And as you may have guessed, indirect injuries easy it's an internal force okay moving on uh, in a direct injury it's it's usually sustained through a you know s through contact or collision with a player object so we can write contact or collision and inside an indirect injury, it's not actually any collision or contact with uh, a player or object, but it, it's actually due to something like you know poor warming up or you know not stretching, not doing all those pre pre game exercises and anything which is indirect injuries. 
uh, is a result of you know inadequate warm up or excessive movement or things like poor technique. So you've got a, a sprinter tearing the hamstring. That that must hurt. So it is uh, due to the um, uh, you know the inadequate warm up. or incorrect technique and the example I talked about was basically you know someone getting um, uh, their hamstrings torn because they didn't you know they didn't run right or they didn't warm up right so that's pretty much it now uh, what, what can I really say so examples for direct injuries is um, I was gonna write I was write them out so being hit by a cricket ball or being tackled in football okay and now for this one what examples are there now as I said before we've got um, sprinter tearing hamstring Okay, so that's the two things that we can just tell from direct and indirect injuries. Let's see what we've covered so far. So we've done uh, this entire bit. Cool. So tick, tick, and now it's this bit. This bit is what we need to do. So overuse injuries. What can we say about overuse injuries? No worries. So, what are overuse injuries? Well, I'll, I'll quickly define it just by speaking it out. Well, over, overuse injuries are through the sustained repetition of a particular action that places uh, undue stress on, on onto the body part. So that's like, um, let's just say, you know, swinging your elbow so many times again and again for the for tennis, or even something like sprinting for hours and hours, which causes the repetition of movement in the knees going up and down, up and down. See, all those things can cause, you know, these injuries, and they're called overuse injuries. So it's um, due to excessive repetition. of movements um, and uh, or particular actions that place undue stress so that's that's it pretty much and what examples can we give Okay. We got shin splints. So that's like when um, all the scar tissue forms. Then we've got stuff like tendonitis, which is just another example. And then we've got stuff like, you know, um, what else? What else? Stress fractures. That's another one. And now, as I said, it's all caused by stuff like um, poor technique, training errors, or even poor equipment. So what's it caused by? Or even stuff like poor equipment. So, okay, that's, that's overuse injuries done and dusted. That's all you need to know, and I really hope it helps. But um, that concludes it for today. So, direct and indirect injuries, you guys should be masters of that now. Soft and hard tissue injuries, no worries. And overuse injuries, done. Okay, I hope this helps, and see you till next time.